The looting opportunities are few and far between in a world with no hope, but our main character Jack Kerouac has to double back, he has to search, he has to be resourceful if he wants to survive here in the world of cataclysm dark days ahead. Thank you everybody for joining me here for episode number three. I really appreciate you stopping by. We are continuing our journey, of course, here at the Busted Up Cabin. We doubled back to this location so that we could get the compound bow with arrows. That's right. So we don't have room for the shotgun. That's actually going to stay Stay behind today but what I'll do is I'll just delete this message here try and be as accurate and thorough with our notes as possible and of course our journal entries are extremely important to Jack he is a poet and a tourist and most importantly we're trying to take photographs of every creature and even some of the wildlife we come across oh, I forgot I'm actually wearing my camera now that's right in the last episode we turned it into a wearable camera a little bit more convenient for us relieve some of our pocket space but um, it's been so far a daunting but fun playthrough and i appreciate everybody who's been leaving comments and stuff on the video hit that like button subscribe if you're a new viewer guys and let's get into today's episode well it is very much raining right now guys i'm pretty sure we're probably soaked yep and we have finally been reunited with our boy Timmy. There he is, Timmy the Travoy. <laughs> oh, that's great. So I actually came across several items at that cabin that I had dropped when I was trying to do some inventory management. A couple of really important ones like my hammer, which I very stupidly dropped for some reason. But yeah, there it is. I'm actually going to favorite that. I think it was because it was damaged. I don't know why, but I decided to go ahead and get rid of it. We've got it again, though, and we are back. This Travoy, I, I've never actually had one. I'm going to be honest with you, so I'm a little curious just how much stuff we can cram into it, but I'm also nervous that at some point I'm probably going to have to leave it behind, you know. Old Timmy here doesn't travel well in the forest at all we've definitely come to that realization and of course you know you just can't stick to the roads in cataclysm it's just not possible sometimes you've got to avoid stuff but we do have a clear shot south here in fact there's a bridge just outside of gloucester i think that'll probably be swarming with zombies but it's definitely worth checking so that's going to be our destination currently and we are walking we're dragging timmy uh, we're fresh right now, but I have a feeling he's going to get worn out fairly quick, but that's okay. That's okay. Good night's rest. A little bit of moonshine to cap off the evening. Oh, man, everything's going to be great with Jack Kerouac. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Well, I tell you, it might have been a bit of a mistake to try and drag Timmy along out here in the rain like this. We're starting to get a little bit chilly. He's unhappy for sure now. And, yeah, Timmy, of course, is a very, very heavy boy, so I'm having to stop and rest quite a bit. But this looks like a very promising vehicle. Ooh, let's at least get in here and just close the door for a second. Let's, um, let's take a moment to dry him off. Very good, very good. He's not really hungry or thirsty, but I could potentially have a meal just to maybe, you know, perk him up a little bit. But also, I'll just pop on the MP3 player real quick. Just for a couple minutes here. Now, oh, oh, let's search it. Okay. Oh, look at that. An umbrella. Perfect. So, so, problem is I can't drop my compound bow. Well, I guess I can put it in Timmy. Let's not worry about that now. The most important thing, guys. And yes, I'm, I'm building up the anticipation. I'm putting it off. Let's just see what this thing looks like here. Examine the vehicle. All right, we're looking at a little uh, electric sports coupe. I think it might be dead battery. Um, yeah, or it just doesn't... Oh, it says large storage battery is draining. Well, maybe. Uh, uh, engine fails to start. Dang it. This one might be a candidate, though. I'm not 100% sure, but we might be able to actually replace the batteries in this one. 
Let me leave a bit of a more detailed note here. Okay, there we go. So potential battery swap on the electric sports might do the trick. Let's just pop into the trunk. Okay, I didn't grab that umbrella. I realize I'll have to get it, but take that. The jerry can stays. Rubber hose might come in handy. I will take that. I don't think we need a funnel to actually siphon, though, do we? Jumper cables I'll take. And you know what I'm actually going to do, too? Get back in here. What's nice? We'll, we'll pass a little bit of time. Maybe this will help us warm up a little bit, possibly just boost his mood. But I'm also going to take out the seat belts here, too, if there are any. Yep. Okay, good, good, good. I mean, we don't need them, even if we actually one day do take this vehicle and use it for our own purposes. Seatbelt. I'm not going to wear a seatbelt when I'm driving. Oh, man. Driving is probably the safest thing you can do in Cataclysm, am I right? <laughs> well, the wildlife in Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead doesn't care about the apocalypse. Life for the wild creatures continues on as normal. In fact, we got a pack of muskrats here attacking what is a coot. A little bird here you can see this boy's fleeing i noticed it because we i just got a notification that the goose dies we got water scorpions out here attacking geese and stuff i was thinking maybe if i sit here long enough i could wait and see them kill something and i could go scare them away and grab the corpse you know get ourselves a nice little meal with some roasted goose tonight oh that might be interesting but it doesn't appear to work out that way yet now let's look in the wallet. Hmm, I've got a few cash cards already. Ooh, folding knife. I almost missed that. Yeah, yeah. That's actually the first one I've got, too. So we'll put a star on that. Beautiful. Oh, our toolkit is starting to come together. No doubt about it. Ooh, we got blood on... Oh, my God, guys. I almost walked into a military minefield. What? All right. We didn't get a notification, and I'm not seeing any heads up enemies here so let's go ahead and drop timmy um yeah g i'm gonna come in and turn off my mp3 player because i did have that turned on because he was uh you know a little bit unhappy <laughs> he's actually doing great now <laughs> look he's not wet at all thanks to our umbrella that we just like very luckily found so we're good we're good we're not even chilly anymore so i'm gonna zoom out as i move in i know some of y'all don't like it it's hard to see and i get that but I just want to get any visual contact. Okay, I think we're good. We can zoom in a little bit. So we're going to approach very carefully because I know we can see mines in these situations. But uh, also thinking that approaching with the umbrella might not be the smartest thing right now. Should probably go grab my axe, but I'm going to try and smash these guys. I hope they don't get up. The second okay we're fine who oh my god look at this guys holy crap a bayonet we got neko wafers this is a female um tobacco pipe molly assault pack with that this is like a camel pack i oh my god that's not what i meant to do i wanted to look at this slim lightweight insulated plastic bladder worn on the back nice so we can fill that with water this is huge, guys. So huge. And none of it's dirty, which is okay. I actually do have the stuff now to clean it, but wow. All right. So let's not get too carried away just yet. We've got another corpse just up ahead of us. So it doesn't look like there's any mines. Nothing, literally, except these two corpses. Maybe if some bullets in those mags there. We'll check those, but... Oh, darn. Well, not quite as big a haul as this corpse here, but damn. Hold on, what do we got? Oh, uh, empty magazine. Hmm. Nope, nope, one more. Well, uh, it, I think it's definitely worth trying to cross this bridge here. Obviously, it might be tricky, though. But first, I'm about to switch clothes with this dead person. Okay, well, after some inventory management, you can see I've tried to reduce as much encumbrance as possible. I don't think it's terrible right now. Of course, the left and right leg, one of those is from the sheath there. The other one, 
I'm not sure what the other one's from, but it's not that big a deal. The legs, I don't think. Let's see. Our speed's 100%. Focus is good. We're in decent shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that was a huge upgrade and stuff. I did take a few things off, but it's all stored on Timmy right now. Look at this boy here. Oh, my God. Basically, almost everything we've come across, he is now literally carrying. So this, it's even though it is kind of a pain to drag it, he is an amazing addition to the team, guys. So we're going to very cautiously approach on the bridge. We got really great view. Visibility is amazing right now. So we might actually come across a car here too. Of course, not sure, but let's let's just wait, catch our breath. It's good if we do have to approach some hostels. We want to have as much stamina as possible. It's a very long bridge. All right, we're approaching the end of it here. Let me go ahead and drop Tim Boy just to see. I can kind of see nothing ahead of us. Okay, I think we're fine. Wow, okay, so there are a lot of zombies here, but they're not quite out as far as I had thought. So we might be able to sneak over to this. Radio tower would be great. Oh. Is this a military base? Oh no, this is just like a little urban center or something. Not really sure, but we've got another tower. All right, looks like we've got some interesting exploration opportunities if we can get around Gloucester here. Let me make sure not to forget our boy. Come, you're coming with me, sir. All right, let's see. Good news is, too, it looks like we're going to have some field travel. So there's no forest to contend with over here. Ah, crap. Zombie already. Let me look. How far is he? We might be able to just sneak right past there. Fat zombie. Well, I don't even see him. Oh, they're at the very edge down there. Let's try it. Let's just very cautiously sneak by. We're going to skirt the water's edge. Okay. I'm going to try and make this, but... It is best for me to do it zoomed out real quick, so we'll go through this as quickly as possible. So if I see any coming at me, I'm going to need to equip a weapon, obviously. We're still carrying our umbrella. Uh, Alright, I think we did it. I think we safely moved past that threat. And dead ahead could potentially be another worse threat if it's a wasp nest. So <laughs> let's approach that one even more carefully. Looks like Jack's got some good news and bad news for us. For one, good news is there's no wasps here, so we can go up the tower. But that means we got to drag Timmy along with us all, uh, all the way up those stairs. No, I'm just kidding. We're just going to head up there ourselves, leave Timmy behind. But um, he really is like having a little baby with you now that I've built him and dragged him around. Is that just an egg there? Sometimes it's hard to tell. Um... Oh, there was one right here. American crow egg feathers. I might use those feathers at some point if we can. If we run out of arrows, we might craft our own. That's kind of cool. All right, let's go up, up, up. Am I going up? Yeah, we're at the top now. All right, and of course I do have some binoculars, right? I don't think we need to activate them or anything. But are we wearing binoculars? Yeah, we do have a pair. Yeah. So you need direct sun. Oh, yeah, activating's for starting a fire. But uh, let's check the map. Here it is. Oh, yeah, there's another radio tower just over there. Interesting. A lot of rural areas to the north. We haven't checked all these trailheads. There's like five cottages all in a row here. These, This might be a good spot for sure. I see something down here promising. Okay, let's check this out. So what was this? I, I have to go see what this is. There's craters here. I've never seen a city laid out like this, but um, yeah, I mean, we're going to go up and hit this tower too, see what's there. But uh, damn, if there's no wasp, we'll continue on to the south. Hold on, I'm not done looking at the map real quick. Let's go back down. All right, we got this sand pit over here. There's not much to that, but... Probably worth checking the roads just to see if there's any cars over here. Ooh, that could be a hotel. <gasps> that might be something I can drag Timmy straight to as well. 
We just gotta continue to skirt Gloucester. All right, it's looking very promising, this area. So we've definitely got our work cut out for us, but uh, it's time to climb back down and start dragging our Travoy around again. Okay, well, slight change of plans just for the moment. I actually got the bright idea to tear down some of these chain link fence pieces here and just load a bunch of pipes and wires and stuff up onto Timmy here. So that's what I've been working on, but I'm glad I did. And I'll tell you why here. Let me drop some of this crap. Okay, there we go. Let's peek out. I noticed there's a vehicle just down here on the edge of our site. So we got to be careful because we're starting to get real close to town here, but hell, I'll go prone if I have to and just creep right up to this thing just to examine it. Let's get down. I, th I don't see any zombies, so I think we're good. God, this... Oh, zombie, okay. Hold on, let me... Cannot see us. Oh, he's close, too. Yeah, the freaking fog is back, man. This has been the foggiest playthrough. It's crazy. So, I will go prone and try and sweep behind it. There we go. This could be not smart, but let's check it. Okay, gasoline, faulty engine. Jesus Christ. Uh, well, it's got something in it. Let's move over here and just look real quick. Okay, nothing there. Um, a plank, come on. Well, we'll still remember it. It's important to remember all the vehicle locations. Do we remember it? Let me just make sure. Yep, we're set. Oh, man, that's disappointing. But we've still got plenty of other places to check. And honestly, I, I'm actually enjoying No Hope so far. This is what I wanted, you know? It's, it's tough, but that's part of the challenge and the fun, in my opinion. This game does have just a, a massive amount of loot. And sometimes you can get really set up, you know, right off the bat. But this way, we've got to really earn it, so... Let's grab Timmy. I'm going to use this little stick here since it's, uh, um, oh, I've got a pipe on me. Yeah, since it actually stopped raining, you might have noticed. I can actually carry some sort of viable weapon once again, which I appreciate very much. Oh my god, guys, I might have gone overboard here with those pipes because Timmy is officially full and he is killing me look at this we're in unimaginable pain right now literally i didn't get into any fights or anything we've just been pulling timmy oh my god i pulled him up from one tower to the next and he almost killed me god damn so i did take some painkillers hopefully that'll go away we might be good resting here i mean it's only 9 a.m but literally it took me like an hour to pull it from here to here and I had to do it manually, too, because doing it automatically just does not seem to work. Damn you, Timmy. You're killing your old man. So I'm going to leave him right there. But, um, oh, I didn't even grab my stupid weapon. Hold on a second. All right. I went ahead and wielded my axe here. The pipes, I moved about 13 of them off of the sled. Just hoping that once we leave here, that'll do the trick. But, um... This place looks intact, and of course I did not see any wasps, thank God. Let's go up top before we loot that little structure, but we're certainly going to go in there. Oh, ooh, pair of binoculars and the Gloucester survival map. We'll take both. The binoculars might be viable trading. I mean, I keep talking about trading stuff. Of course, we haven't seen a single NPC, but let's see. Oh, there's my spike on a stick. Yeah, I need to make that, finish making these items. They're just taking up space in my inventory for no reason. But let's see here. There we go. Activate it. Oh, let's check out the map, of course. Didn't add too much with just the uh, new tower alone, since that other one was so close. But we've got like a new stretch of road over here. We see that flashing. So, yeah. We've... Oh, it's such a huge map. Dairy was all, almost the whole entirety of Dairy was added. There we go. I like it. All right. So we're going to go down. And let's check this building. Oh, right off the bat, we got some clothes here. Dust mask, toe caps. I think I'll wear the toe caps and we'll just leave that stuff. That's just like cotton. Out there. Yeah, I don't think that's super important. Ooh. Um, 
I don't know what kind of battery is in that. It might be useful to us. Literally, that's the only thing here. RC remote. Not even the car this time, folks. But damn it. That means we got to drag Timmy around some more. Um, let's see. All right, he's there. I think I might leave him and just explore the southward direction. No reason to drag him this way. If we're just going to turn around and run. You know what? Actually, hold on. It's stupid of me to try and move at this point. We are not doing well. So let's close that up. We'll come sit in this chair here. A little bit exposed at this location. But I think I should probably rest. At least try to. You sure want to sleep? I'll do three hours. I don't even know if we'll fall asleep here. We're getting chilly. Maybe I should have started a fire. Definitely don't want to get... Okay, well... Th yeah, the pain's going down, which is good. All right, we did fall asleep. It's just not great, because we are chilly. Hope we don't walk up with frostbite, man. Uh, are, We're not still wet, are we? Shoot, I should have checked that. Hey, look at that. All right, little achievement. Um, Are we wet? No. Ooh, we're lit up at that. That's from the glow stick I've been carrying around forever. So uh, we can go ahead and pop in the old MP3 player. He's going to be definitely sad when this thing runs out of batteries. But there we go. So we're happy. Again, we are in pain, but definitely better off than we were. I think what I'm going to do is <laughs> smash that window. And let's have a little bite to eat here. We'll grab these Neko wafers. Maybe a little bit of happiness for him. Okay, not bad, not bad. Now, I shall leave Tibby and head south. Ooh, yeah, I gotta... Oh, wait, no. The fog is out again. I thought I had good radius, but I don't. Freaking fog, man. It's everywhere. Oh, look. Okay, we're actually about to come out of the fog. There's rain dead ahead, but... I'm gonna zoom out, guys. Sorry. Gotta just see what's all around us. I could go to this this distance for sure. Okay, just a flint. Just a rock there. Don't see any monsters. Good, good. I gotta remember to take some photos too. Anything we come across here. Right, what the hell is this location? Crawling zombies, of course. I'm not surprised. Whatever it is, is surrounded by zombies, most likely. Is that him? Is that the only one, though? Of course not. There's two crawlers. Oh, uh, wait. I think we just spot a whole bunch more. Yeah, zombie children and stuff. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Well, it's probably no good trying to get in there at all. I imagine. I might pop over to the little cabin, cabin here, though. Yeah, yeah. Let's backtrack a bit. And I'll make that trip, despite the fog. We might cross that threshold we saw in the in the sky and yep, there we go. Get out of the nice fog or out of the fog into the nice cloudy weather. It's a heck of a big improvement. Ooh, zombie cop. I'm gonna keep the road in sight here as we travel down below to the south of us. Obviously I'm not trying to provoke anything, but yeah, that guy's a little close to me. Uh, I do want to see maybe if there's any potential vehicles, though, you know, sitting. Oh, what are we looking at? Two zombies. Are they attacking something? Hold on, let's get let's get in here, because there's movement happening. We got a firefighter, we got a feral. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, hmm. Maybe, I think... I don't know if this is a smart idea, if we can squeeze in between there, but um, I'll give it a try. I just need to go northward a bit. Screw sticking by the, the road. That's going to get us killed at this point. Oh, holy crap. There's some sort of explosion. A crater just popped up in front of me, guys. I don't know what happened. This crater literally just appeared as I walked towards to this area. You can see, skirting the road. I'm going to get killed out here, aren't I? So what was in that? I don't see anything. Yeah, I definitely don't want to approach it, but that was freaky. Whew, alright, alright. Never know what's going to happen in this world. 
we are approaching the house here. It's coming up. Oh, and the fog just set in. What does it say? It's a derelict property. Well, that means it's probably garbage, but God damn the fog. Oh, what am I seeing? Is that the, fr that's like the frame of a vehicle. Interesting. Probably doesn't work, but might give us something to build on. Let's uh, check the perimeter. Okay. Don't see anybody on the inside, but I do see a little bit of loot. These look like seeds right here to me. Yeah, we'll just take that. We'll check out that vehicle in one second. Hmm. Okay. No. Taking it. Hmm. Well, if I was desperate for a pipe, we could take out that stove, but I've got plenty of pipes. No need. All right, let's see. What are we looking at here? Yep, it's just a frame. Examine. It's got a tank on it, but it's draining. It's got a seat. <laughs> well, of course, we will remember this one, too. Yep, that... Um, I don't know, that really intrigues me right there. Just seeing it makes me like want to try some, you know, vehicle building. I'm not saying we'll come back all the way here just to grab this frame, but it seems interesting for sure. Very compelling. Now I'm intrigued, no doubt about it. Jack can't forget about his journal. That's right. Every chance he gets, he scribbles a few words here and there. And as you can see, the final entry so far today is kind of out of frustration. We need a car. So I'm actually thinking out in, you know, what really got me to write that was we found this thing just to the southeast of where we were. There's that frame. But then I noticed this one and I was like, oh man, I got to check that out. Of course, it's nothing. It's just a busted up under tow truck. So no good here. Not even any good seat belts. And then I went ahead and looked at the map and I got depressed because I realized I need to walk all the way back to Timmy and pick him up and try and drag him to wherever we're going. So I've changed my plans. Instead of doing that, it looks like we've got a decent little stretch of highway here in front of us. What I'm going to do is walk this till we get to Oxford. Then maybe I'll turn south and we'll head down here a little bit. I'm just going to travel as much of the roadway as I can desperately seeking a car of course of course uh we are wet and stuff i think i'll go ahead and oh wait i can't put this away can i no i have to just carry that darn it <gasps> little mushroom boy right in front of us uh but the good news is i did find a raincoat in that yeah rain poncho right there that was in that vehicle we just left but I honestly don't think that really works unless you have the umbrella. But I will towel myself off real quick. And we'll just see if we stay dry wearing the poncho. Okay, we got a corpse at least. There's a lot of mushrooms around, but that's not really much of a threat. No worries. Anyway, you can see it's going to be a cold road. But at least the sun's come up a little bit and it's not foggy anymore. Oh my god, guys, look at this. Look at this beautiful pickup truck. This would be amazing. I could probably even load Timmy into the back of this thing. Looks so bright and shiny and new. <gasps> it's got seat belts and everything. Oh my god, but of course, it's right on the edge of this crazy city here. I decided to turn check that out i've already spotted one zombie too it's just there let's let's do this together because i can't just give up on the possibility here i don't have a clue if this thing works though that's the problem if i approach this and we start getting chased oh my god there's an irradiated wanderer riding corpse glows the ooze okay so that's Damn, I don't know. That's real close to the vehicle. Well, we're definitely going to fall prone again. And I have to do this on the full zoom. Actually, that's not true. But I do need to occasionally stop just to take stock here. Look, there's another one right here. It says it is much faster than us. Is that because I'm down on the ground? Huh, let me check that. 
Yep. Now it says it is slower than you. Okay, that's just because it was laying down. Gotcha. Interesting. Man, this game is a deep simulation, isn't it? Okay. So we're in the same spot. We're back on the ground again. I think this is probably the stupidest thing I've ever done so far in this run. Oh. Oh. I think one of them might have spotted us. Hold on. Because he's going after the... Oh my god, no. Oh, he spotted me. Yep, they spotted me. Jesus, they're close. Or not close, they just have great vision or something. Whew. Okay, we're going to just run. Wow, they're tearing through that van right now. Damn it. Or the pickup truck, I should say. Uh, well, that's why you don't... Don't approach places where you know you're probably not going to be able to inspect fully. It's just uh, setting yourself up for heartache. But uh, no worries, no worries. I've got a long stretch of highway to go. Okay, let's not get our hopes up too much. But we've got another, what actually looks like a wrecked vehicle up ahead. Yeah, it's alright. This one's interesting. It might be like a food truck or something. Okay, what is that right there? Let's look at the food. Uh, mobile meth lab. Interesting. Okay, not what I was expecting at all. Doesn't look like the battery's very vibe. I gotta remember to try and grab a battery, but of course now's not the time without Timmy behind here. Interesting. Look at this. Iodine crystals, not drowsy cough syrup. This is nuts. What do you use iodine crystals for? I don't even know. Well, other than you know what. Um, okay. Nothing else here. Maybe some seatbelts, but we're not in the market for those right now with that Tim boy. Okay, our travels continue down the road. And we got another junker. Let's just check this one. I am marking all these two here to remember them. Because once we find a good vehicle, special... Oh my god! A brand new hiking backpack. Look at that. Oh... This little trip has already paid off a hexamine stove sewing kit. Let's put this on right away. Wear it. <gasps> no way. We've got ourselves a massive upgrade. Wow. Oh, these are too heavy now. Really? What? What's going on with my inventory? Let's see. Oh, yeah. We're over now. Damn. Hm. Well, that's okay. There probably was some stuff in there I can get rid of here. Let me worry about that here. But that is such a huge thing. Let's look at that. Where's the hiking backpack? A large hiking backpack with plenty of storage space. You're telling me. Oh yeah, it carries 40 pounds, 23 volume. I love it already. It's made of leather. What a beautiful boy. All right. I'm going to have to get a permanent marker and start naming some of my favorite gear items. Okay, well, I emptied out a few things. I'm going to leave some of it here in the... Uh, trunk of this car we'll come back for this stuff like the load bearing vest could be repaired easily that in process spike on the stick that thing weighed like seven pounds i've been carrying that around so i'll just worry about that later but speaking of weapons some of you sharp-eyed viewers out there might have noticed that yes there was an ar-15 in that hiking backpack with a couple of or one clip it looks like no seven seven clips right is that right no, no, no. 7.62 magazine. Okay, okay, okay. It's got a 30 rounder. All right. Yes, yes, yes. So that's amazing. <laughs> Obviously. Now, hold on. Can we put away our wood axe now? <gasps> I can store that in my inventory. This is amazing. We can wield our umbrella. <laughs> I know, I know. It's fun. I want to wield the, ha uh, the weapon, but our new AR-15... Well, we might as well just do it once. <laughs> Look at us. Whoa. Come on, bring it on, Migo. Get your fill over here. But um, should we re reload it? No, it's fine. So what we're going to do is put this thing away. I'm going to wield my... Where the hell is it? Did I drop it somewhere? Oh, no, it's down with tools, isn't it? Telescoping umbrella, baby. There we go. Stored in the inventory. Oh, things are coming together, guys. Activate it. Thank you. Now let's go ahead and dry off. Good, 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 good. How you feeling, buddy? You doing a little better? Your mouth is chilly? Well, just smile. Practice smiling a lot. That'll warm you right up. But, um, oh yeah, luxury electric sedan. 
Now let me look at this actually one more quick time here. So the large electric battery in this, oh, it does say it's draining. Does that mean it's, oh, that one's actually empty. Huh. Yeah. Let's see, can we just, could we just remove it? Tool with metal sawing. Mm. Gonna need a hacksaw or something, something better. So, well, the search is on. We definitely need to try and get some batteries because that might be a step, a real big step towards actually kitting out our own car. But maybe we'll just luck into finding one. Ooh. Okay, that's not me go, that's just an outcropping, but looks like we're coming to the city in both directions here. So let's make this trek together. I'm gonna zoom out. The visibility's pretty low. Ooh, a dermat tick. Damn it. Let me look at where that's at. Okay, that's to the south. So we'll move eastward just as far as we can go safely. Oh, and the fogs come out. Never mind, we're backtracking. We're going back. That was as far as we get. Oh, but you can see. Yeah, there's Zeds on the road just ahead. So, well, now the plan is to go back to Timmy, I guess. <laughs> yeah. And from there, we are probably best continuing to backtrack back to the bridge. Sneak just boop, right across there. And I think, as long as it doesn't kill me to drag Timmy that far, I might try and head over to this large building because we got a campground here too. So this is actually radically close to where we spawned at. Remember, we spawned right here. So we're coming full circle, guys, all the way around. But don't worry, don't worry. We are not ending it there, so at least I hope not. We've got a lot more time to spend in this crazy world. Rain is still going, at least it's a drizzle. I decided to turn down by this sand pit here. I realized, hey, maybe there's like a truck there or something. But unfortunately, no truck. What there are, are quite a few interesting creatures here. So we've got your standard zombies, but of course the fungaloids. I realize I haven't taken a picture of these guys yet, so we'll do that. But there's also a, a amoebic mold right here too. So I need to snap photos of all these guys, man. I keep forgetting to pull this camera out at every opportunity. I need to set it to a hotkey. I know that we can do that with certain items and stuff, but don't tell me I dropped it. <laughs> I always miss it. I always have trouble finding stuff. Okay, there it is, all the way down at the bottom with clothing. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and wear it. Yeah, that'll make it much easier to see because now it's just right over here with this stuff. And it's lit up. All right, so let's activate it here. The wearable camera has zero charges, but needs five. Oh, is it out? I didn't realize that. Okay, we have nothing to reload. Dang it. Oh, Jack, the worst possible thing has occurred to any tourist. They ran out of batteries for the camera, but no worries, no worries. Even in the no hope world where loot is so thin and sparse, Jack is gonna make his best effort to reload his camera. Oh, glorious, guys. We have once again reunited with our special boy, Timmy the Travoy. There he is. Check him out. Oh, this is the guy who actually put me in a, such a large amount of pain, which we just recovered from. And now we have to come over here and pick him up again. So, let me look at him. Actually, there was a way to see his weight. Did I need to grab from this? No, maybe if we examine it examine the vehicle do, do, do. it's got 135 pounds there it's very full like i said i did take out a whole bunch of pipes though so let's just try and drag this and see what i think it's okay because i'm not getting it does say it takes some time to move timmy but i was getting a message where it said you struggle to move timmy with all those pipes on there previously when i made this trip across the field here which I'm kind of heading in the wrong direction so yeah the scraping noise is normal I probably should avoid the grass but what I'm just worried about is the pain you know we just took half the day to recover from it so I don't want to get into a situation where we're killing ourselves again but <laughs> it's good to have be re reunited with our stuff oh it's all the loot that we really care about Shh, don't tell Timmy that but um 
We are going to wait a while here. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, Jack's definitely earned himself some sort of reward tonight. We might have to take a little shot of something or other. We've got some SIGs, too. You know, it just occurred to me, I could try and, tr like, just track around the lake shore, the river shore here, and we might find a boat, be able to go across, but... No, that's, that's not going to be feasible with our Travoy. So, I think we are, like I said, going to stick to the plan. Now, I could eventually head north again. Yeah, we said that this was a promising area, didn't we? With all five of these little huts. Or, well, they're probably cabins. Maybe that's better. Yeah, instead of dragging the stupid Travoy all the way across the field, just to effectively come back to the, basically where we started from. I prefer to go north, I think, at this point. So, yeah, that's what we'll do. Let me just make it across the bridge. That's the hard part. Oh, no. Now it's starting to tell me he's straining himself to move Timmy again. I don't know why. I just rested. And the pain is going up at this point. Damn you, Timmy. Oh, so we are up a level on this bridge. I'm thinking I might do the same thing. We'll leave him here. Um, let me look at here, look at them again, because there might be some stuff I actually want to put in my backpack now that we've got just a huge amount of space. Well, at least more space than we did. But, um, yeah, this is a good middle ground, kind of, between the unexplored areas down here and, you know, more to the north. So, if we find a car, of course, our first stop is going to come back and pick up our Travoy, or at least unload the goods, but... I think this is probably a good spot to end things for today, guys. Like I said, right in the middle of the land, at least the uncovered land. Of course, the world itself is far, far bigger than what we've seen so far. So keep tuning in, guys. We're going to have a lot more episodes. Fingers crossed, that is. And I appreciate you all. Leave me some comments. It helps a lot with the algorithm. And, of course, I'll plug my Patreon. I am posting episodes early for this season and all my other series, too. Not just this game, but every game I play over there on Patreon. So you can go ahead and donate if you feel like you'd like to support the channel. And there are a few perks in the mix for you, too. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me. And I will We'll see you all on the next one.